Sejin here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your logo designs for free. And I mean 100% free from start to finish. Well now you don't have to go to Fiverr to spend a pretty penny. Plus I have an extra tip at the end that will further help you to create your final product for absolutely free. So if you like this sort of content, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Let's dive right in. Open up your browser and type in designer.microsoft.com. Microsoft Designer is a new AI-powered graphic design tool that can create professional quality media posts, invitations, digital postcards, graphics, logos, and much more. You can think of it as Canva's biggest competitor because everything on MS Designer is free. So to get started, click Get Started for Free and sign in with your Microsoft account or sign up for one if you don't have one. On the main screen, you'll see a very simple layout. On the right, you can generate your own personalized design into one of the template designs by clicking on the design of your choice, a great way to kickstart your design project right away. Click here if you want to add your own image to whatever you're trying to design, or you can click here to generate your own image using AI, which is what I'm really interested in. So let's get started and try to generate a variation of different designs, and I'll choose the one that I feel looks best for a project I'm working on called SharkBot. I'll copy and paste in each of the prompts that I created for my logo idea and have MS Designer generate the images. I'll display each of the prompts I use so you can copy it for your own use. Let's click on Generate Image and paste in the first prompt. You'll notice that MS Designer will even suggest extra parameters each time you write out your prompt to give you more ideas and options. Pretty cool, huh? Here we have the first one generated. Let me regenerate the image and change the background to white. Let's do the second prompt. One thing to note is that as you generate them, MS Designer automatically saves them to your media folder which you can look at after you're done. Now the third prompt. Some of the prompts I generated more than once to get a bit more variation so I have a wider options to choose from. Now for the fourth prompt. Now the fifth prompt. Now the sixth prompt. Okay, now that we're done generating all our images, let's get started on the logo design. If you click the visuals icon, you'll notice that you have a stack of different elements you can use in your designs for free, from various shapes to different types of photos and even various types of videos. If you click the text icon, you can select any of the preset headings for your design and even choose a preset text style so you don't have to spend too much time trying to find the perfect font and style. Now for the brand kit. This is where you can create your own custom brand color theme and font style and save it so that you can keep reusing your customized brand kit for different projects. The templates icon is where you can use a pre-made template to help kickstart your design project. It's easy to use and totally customizable. Now let's go to my media and start my logo design. You'll see all the images I've generated in one location. Probably the most difficult part of this process is choosing a design. Let me go through the collection and see what sticks. I really like the pastel color scheme on this one and it looks very conceptual which looks pretty cool. This must be the cyberpunk one. This one really pops and looks super fierce. Oh this one came out well, must be the class royale style one. You can also change the color filters on the image by clicking on the various filter options. Okay, I may go with this one. So let's resize this and click on remove background to get rid of the white background so whatever I place behind it is visible. Now I can add a circular frame behind the shark to give it that logo look. I'll go to visuals and add the circle shape. I'm going to use one big circle and one small circle to give you the illusion that it's a ring frame. The line guides help you make sure that the circles are perfectly aligned in the center. I just need to somehow get the shark to fit well next to the ring. Let's see what color matches well with the shark. I can even make some adjustments to the color by adjusting the contrast, brightness, and so forth. You can play around with the different adjustments and see what works for you. Okay, I feel like this logo isn't coming out the way I want it to. It just seems too conceptual. I need an image that properly illustrates a shark and minimalistic at the same time. Okay, this one might work, so let's give it a try. Let me remove the grayish background by hitting the remove background button. I can also crop the shark's image so I can enlarge the shark image to fit more of the canvas. Let's create the circular frame again. I'm not sure why I deleted the first one in the first place. Okay, let's duplicate the circle layer for the smaller circle. Now let's bring the shark image to the front by clicking on the position button and click bring forward. Now let's play around with the design so that everything fits well. 
We can't forget about the name Sharkbot, so let's leave some space at the bottom. Let's add some eyes by using the circle shape. Now let's add the name. Let's choose a textile that would fit this design best. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's download the logo by clicking on the download button. You can choose your file type. I prefer PNG because it's generally higher in quality than JPEGs. And click download and you're done. Let's look at what we have. Not too shabby. It's simple and clean and most importantly, it has all the elements I need in the logo. Now, we have two options to finalize this logo. One is to upscale this to increase its resolution so that you can use it for any type of print. Click on the link that's popping up on the top of the screen if you want to learn how to upscale any image for free. The second option is to vectorize the image. Now, before I made this video, I researched and literally tested numerous platforms and sites that offer image vectorizations. And although there were a lot of sites both free and paid, I found one that was free and the quality output was just as good as the one you would pay for. So this site is a little secret between us. Open up a browser and go to vectorizer.com. This is a free image vectorizing site that converts your PNG file into an SVG or scalable vector graphic format, which is a popular web-friendly vector image format. What's more important is that unlike other free sites, the output on this site is far better in quality and much easier to use than its competitors. So let's get started and upload our logo file and once it's done vectorizing, click download. Now just to show you what we have here, I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator to show you how the vector output looks like. I can resize it however I like it and the sharpness remains the same. You'll see that every part of the shark has been broken up mathematically so that the image is expandable without resolution loss. So now the logo itself is ready to go and be used in any design project you want and you won't have to worry about resolution loss. Just as a quick update, I later decided to scrap the original logo I made and I went with a new shark logo design I made. Here it is. Well, there you have it. Now you can create your own logo with AI for absolutely free and I do mean free. So if you enjoyed this video, Consider giving this video a like and if you like this sort of content, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.